On July 2nd, 1900, three years before the Wright brothers flew at Kitty Hawk, a bold new flying machine takes to the skies in Germany. It's called the Zeppelin LZ-1, named for its inventor, Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin. The hull consists of a lightweight shell over a metal frame. Inside that structure are a number of gas cells, which you can think of as individual balloons. The cells are filled with hydrogen. The gas is lighter than air, which creates lift, but is also highly flammable. Zeppelin knows predicting the weather is critical to his airships. The lighter than aircrafts, or dirigibles, avoid potentially dangerous storms by traveling around them. They were absolutely governed by weather and temperature and humidity and barometric pressure and the laws of physics. The officers on the ship, they had to be experts on the weather in a way that a seagoing captain is, but more so in many ways, because they were dealing with a, a buoyant object in a gaseous medium. Hugo Eckner made a science, if not a religion, out of weather. One of Eckner's safety first precepts. Rule number one was never blow off gas in a thunderstorm. To land a Zeppelin, hydrogen gas is released or valved. But in a thunderstorm, static electricity could cause the free gas to ignite. So Eckener's rule is to wait out storms. The ship's lightweight design and ample fuel reserve enable it to stay aloft as long as it takes for the weather to 